Hello, college students! Remember this? Throwback? Water and a champagne flute? I suggest you go get one, so we can be classy together. So this morning I was watching my sister's baby for her, and it made me remember that babies come from somewhere, and that made me remember that this video series hasn't been very sexy yet. Which is a shame, because college is extremely sexy. Between the beer-stained jeans, and the not washing your clothes for weeks on end, and the throwing up in streets, and the eating Easy Mac, like, steamy stuff. So I thought today I would give you guys some sexy advice on sexy things related to sexy college. Suggestion number one, if you ever entertain the possibility of leaving a party or a bar with someone you just met with the intention of having relations with them, you should think it over thoroughly. Now everyone has different standards or morals or what have you, but here are a couple good questions to ask yourself. Just get your mind rolling about the topic. Question one, what is this person wearing? A. Ed Hardy. B. Anything else. Question two, how likely is this person to have diseases that are going to jump off of their skin onto your skin? A. You have no idea. B. You have some vague idea. Question three, how long have you known this person? A. 20 minutes or less. B. Longer than that. And finally, question four, how likely is this person going to be to murder you? A, extremely likely, or B, you're gonna go with rather unlikely. Now tally this all up in your head, and if you've answered mostly A's, probably don't do it, and if you've answered mostly B's, should maybe still not do it. I don't know, ask your friends. Now it's time for sexy suggestion number two. It's called Condoms. The sexiest thing about condoms is that they help you not have diseases or pregnancies. The sexiest thing about not having diseases or pregnancies is that you don't have a disease or a pregnancy. So before you go having sexy sex, you stroll your sexy body on up to that grocery store or whatever and you buy yourself some sexy condoms. I really did not anticipate feeling like an awkward 40 year old mother giving a child an awkward sex talk right now. Just condoms, please. Just buy condoms, just have some condoms, God! Sexy suggestion number three, instead of having sex, play Monopoly. Monopoly is just as fun as casual sex for a lot of reasons. With Monopoly, it's guaranteed that you're gonna get $200 every time you pass go, and with casual sex, they could rob you. Playing Monopoly might make you hate your friends for their business tactics, but it probably won't get you pregnant. If people post pictures of you playing Monopoly on Facebook, your mother will see pictures of you playing Monopoly on Facebook. If people post pictures of you engaging in sexual activity on Facebook, you're gonna get arrested. In casual sex, you never get to be the thimble. Sexy suggestion number four, get tested regularly for sexually transmitted infections. That way you can be super sexy responsible and super sexy careful and super sexy take care of yourself and other people sexily. So that concludes today's episode of sex advice from someone who attends Harry Potter conventions. <laughs> Basically be safe and try not to make babies unless you want babies. Don't get murdered, don't get diseases you don't want, and be nice to each other. Yay! If you have any questions or topic suggestions for next week, leave them below and I'll see you guys on Monday.